Hi everybody from a beautiful day in Skyrim. I am back at the Sidrat Unleashed and so this is just a short update video just to keep you posted as to what I found uh, in this place now that I've had a few days to play with it and discover some of its secrets which are many and I'm sure I haven't discovered all of them by any stretch but I have resisted the temptation of watching the mod authors walkthroughs and reading the frequently asked questions just because I've been enjoying myself so much I have found some Dwemer schematics that change it to a mushroom, as you can see, and a few others as well. So, talking to K9, I can just go wherever I want to. Um, let's go to the console room. And I have found a few of these things, so I can change the outside. <laughs> Check this out, this is amazing. So as to blend in with the surroundings of wherever I want to travel to, I can change the Sidrat to look like a market stall. So for example, you know, in Whiterun maybe, um, I can change it to look like this dwarven whatever that is. The mushroom, a tree, oh my god, I was so happy to find that, I can't even tell you. I think, you know, when I was a child and my mum to read to me Enid Blyton books and one of them was called the magic faraway tree and I've always wanted to live in a tree so now I get my wish it's a beauty as well so windmill another version of the Sidra sort of different looking I haven't even you know been to any of these yet to see what they're like obviously apart from the mushroom in the tree a shack and the actual Dwemer TARDIS so and the keep so there are still, what, one, two, three, four that I still need to find. Four more sets of schematics and I have been over this place like you wouldn't believe, honestly. I thought that I'd scoured every square inch, but obviously not. So my map now, get rid of the lantern. Sorry, I just wear it all the time. <laughs> Here we go, now you can see them better, and you can see there's a, not, a lot more lilac now than dull crystals, and oh um, god, aren't I stupid? I didn't realise, if you activate them, it tells you where the blinking crystals are out in the world. So, <laughs> where I was just looking at the map and saying, oh right, somewhere in Whiterun, and somewhere about there, south of that mountain peak, you know, and going off to try to find it, I hadn't even realised that you can just click on it it tells you where to look what an idiot anywho so that's it oh by the way if you want to change the look so say for example i want to be the tree now then you don't um you don't actually have to travel if you don't want to I've forgotten where i am where am i lakeview nope that's riverwood there we go then if I just activate the lever anyway, I'm dematerializing and rematerializing at Lakeview. But now, instead of the mushroom, <laughs> I will be a tree, all being well. See, oh yay, check it. Oh, so bonny. Oh my god, I love that so much. So if you're visiting somewhere out in the world in a forested area or even, you know, just a country area, then you're going to blend it, blend it nicely. I love that. Okay, let's see now. Um, oh, there's so many things to talk about. I don't even know. Right, let's talk about one of my favourite things, the garden. Now, as you, I will insert a picture of what this looked like before. and what it looks like now. So I have got busy in here. It's not finished, by the way, by any means, but I've got busy with my garden mods that allow me to conjure and plant. And it's a lot more, you know, colorful and dare I say beautiful now than it was before. And that's no disrespect to the mod author at all. There is a secret to these soils and I don't know what it is. Um, I can only plant a cabbage there right now. Um, it won't take my broomer plants or my more growable plants, you know, like apple trees and tomatoes and blueberries and stuff like that at the minute. So I'll probably just conjure some, some other things and put them there. 
Um, but yeah, I have spent a very happy few hours in here, just making it a bit more gorgeous. Um, but there is, oh, didn't I make such a mistake? Before I kind of went into the mushroom house, when you've done the Fall of the Dwemer, the second quest, this mushroom garden opens. You can see I've put a few ferns, extra ferns in here, but I haven't really done much in this place yet. Once this opened, I was just looking around, looking for those Dwemer schematics. And in this corner behind these mushrooms, it said something like, examine crack in the wall. So I examined it and it, it moved, the crack moved, and it moved over the other side of the water to that wall over there. Uh, and before I could get to it, it had disappeared. And I'm not kidding, I spent like an hour and a half, two hours of frustration trying to catch that blinking crack before it went back to its original position. And in the end, what I did was, I'll tell you what I did, it was a big fat cheat. Um, I whirlwind sprinted, I clicked on the crack, whirlwind sprinted over there, um, toggled collision so that I could fly up and touch the crack. And then the crack moves outside here, and this is where I'd made my big mistake. I should have done that first before putting up all this bally ivy. Because <laughs> my ivy covered up all the cracks, so I was having a nightmare trying to find the cracks behind all this ivy and flora. So yeah, that was a bit dumb of me, but I didn't realise, obviously, that it was even there at the time. Anyway, never mind, that was fun. So, um... What did I even get for doing that now? I can't... Oh, I know what I got. I, an extra crafting room, which I'll show you in a second. One of the Dwemer schematics that I found was up here. And um, behind the Gleam Blossom. So that was nice. I also found some, something else in here. Oh, and let me show you this. <laughs> the amount of times I fell in the water before I resorted to cheating is no odds to anyone. And if you do... This happens. <laughs> oh my god, that makes me feel sick. <laughs> that jump down. Ooh, I didn't look along the floor here to see if there are any schematics in here. Or anything else, any other secrets for that matter. <sighs> I'll have to come back and do that. Maybe that's where my missing plans are. And it just drops you straight back into the cave again. <laughs> oh my god. So, that's a fun thing. Just a random fun thing to do. Anyway, so from here, you'll recall that we went to the Matrix. And that's got more to it than I realised too. I did get rid of those dummies in the garden as well, by the way. Um, because, you know, I don't care for those things much. So, by the way, if I didn't say so already in my previous video, one of the Dwemer schematics was here at the Sandcastle, and I have been all over this blinking place, inch by inch. And when I was here before, I hadn't realised Bessie here, you can ride her, and you, it's like a, a show jumping arena. It's a battle against the clock, and all these gates... They're all show, like show jumping gates, you know? So you can time yourself and, you know, c compete against yourself, try to do better. It's an actual, like, course, which is fantastic. And also, all these um, targets here, you'll find somewhere or another, there are some practice arrows and a practice bow here. And you can set yourself a new game up and, you know, just try and get your highest possible score and play against yourself. It That's just, you know, another great way to pass the time. And by the way, in the garden, I think I wondered whether it um, did reflect the weather, you know, time of day outside. And indeed it does. But it never rains here. This is just so gorgeous. And then... Like I said, there was a grain mill. I haven't actually checked that out to see if there are any plans in here. I'm going to be obsessing about it now. Doesn't look like it. 
All right, so those are the main features from the Matrix that I hadn't um, realized before. And look at this. Isn't that lovely? I haven't been up there either to see if there's anything, but I will be. Oh, that's so pretty. I love this little island. Such a gorgeous place. Uh, anyway, what else did I find? Oh yeah, I, after unlocking all of the destinations, I found all of the seven secret codes that I unlocked at the destinations on my map. And um, so that's given me the things that I mentioned before, the access to the penthouse, the crafting balcony. Um, also, it gives you something called Alvard's Trove, which I'll show you now. And in addition to that, you also get a whistle for the Sidrat. So if you're in, a, in the vicinity um, of, of the um, TARDIS, for want of a better word, let's just call it what it is, uh, then you can whistle it to come to you. Uh, and the mod author also told me that if you've got mods installed in certain places, for example, like I have in Dawnstar and I couldn't find the crystal there, um, then it will allow you to move the TARDIS to somewhere else a bit more convenient of your choosing. So that is dead handy. Right, the trove is upstairs in the living quarters. And when I checked it last time, basically it's a chest that just magically appears. Somewhere. Where did it appear? Oh, over here. There we go. That one with the skull on it. When I checked it last time, it had some arrows in it. Um, and yeah, the bright torch, oh my goodness, that is such a bright torch as well. It's absolutely awesome for dark dungeons. Uh, I found one, or I don't know where I found it actually, when I did the second quest, um, I had this on me and it was amazing. But also these light arrows, so um, you can illuminate your path when you're in dark places, very handy. I gather it also gives you other things as well, but so far that's all I've had, arrows and a torch. Okay, what else did I want to mention? I think that was about it that I found so far. Ooh. Oh, bed changing. Yes. Um, uh, so, those dwarven beds. Outside the bedroom, there's the little bed so that you know what the room is. Um, he's handily marked them all for you. So I looked all over this. It had the hard Dwemer beds in it. And I was actually going to download that mod that someone kindly told me about the other day called More Comfy Dwemer Beds. Um, but I found a note. I left it in place. Right down here in the corner. A torn note. So he actually gives you the code so that you can change the beds if you want to. Which obviously I did. Oh yeah, the additional crafting room. Right, okay, let me find where that was. No changes to the cooking area. That's the armory. I walked past it. Here we go. Right, okay, after you've finished the um, Fall of the Dwemer and you've done the crack quest, for want of a better word, then this room opens. And so now we have Staff Enchanter, Spider Imbuing Chamber, all sorts of goodies some unenchanted staves this thing which i haven't even tried yet crystal transmogrifier which i'm assuming is like every other one and it just um you know upgrades your soul gems you can pause the video to read the note and on the plaque that it refers to may as well just pick it up Combine and upgrade your soul gems. Put gems in the top and press on the hand pad. No results will be found for any total that does not end in zero. Okay. All right. Well, I'll need to play with that then because I don't really understand it immediately. <laughs> Penny's chest. So I'm assuming that's gold storage or is it? Oh, disposal lever. Oh, so it gets rid of all your nonsense. Gets rid of all your rubbish and maybe gives you a bit of money. Well, that's handy. A bit like the Dragonborn Legacy, you know, where it sells your stuff for you. That's cool. Well, uh, 
I don't know about you, I think this covers just about all of the things that I've found. I am loving this mod. I think I've probably made that pretty plain. Um, I'm going to leave you with the view of the garden. Because it's my favourite room. And night has fallen. Wow. Okay, I'm going to leave you with that view. I'll call that the end. I'll put these videos together in uh, a little combined playlist, I think. So they're easy to refer to. So take care everybody, stay safe, and I will see you soon for the next one.